Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. They ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. The best they had. So how did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess? After two years away, you know that. Uh-huh. my place? I figured you might be there. Wait a second. You two were neighbors? We were, but it's not like we hung out that much. We had our reasons. <laughs> our reasons, huh? <laughs> that most of them had to do with you. You went into my room? I did. You went through my stuff? If that's your idea of a joke, I'm not laughing. Yeah, me neither. Come on, Cloud. I know you better than this. I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. I was too excited, too nervous. Was pretty much the same for me. Why? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. <sighs> we leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir. Uh, Brian! Sephiroth, sir. <sighs> I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter isn't. Dad! Tifa. You can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Pumpkin. Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. For a posterity, sir? Not today. Can you talk to him? Please, Sephora. It'd mean a lot to us. <laughs> it's just one photo. Come on. Where's the harm in that? Cheese! Sounds like you were having a good time. One more! Yeah, I guess we were. Later. For a while. Shh. Seen those near the village, and they're not nice. What do you think? I think I got this. Then they're all yours. Copy that. That was awesome! You think? If this is how it's going to be, there doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? Don't mind if I do. Just thinking about crossing that thing. Then let me go first. 
Hey, I'm the guide here. in fate's hands now. Do you know the way? <laughs> yeah. Following the river should get us back to the village. We're not going to the village. Can you get us to the reactor? Sorry, I... I don't think I can. I see. Well... We certainly can't send you back alone. You'll be safer with us. Okay. I'll be joining you up front this time. What? For your performance review. You kidding me? Good luck. <sighs> A Mako Spring. It's beautiful. Yeah, but if we keep using Mako to power our homes, springs like this will disappear, right? What are you talking about? Who told you that? My dad. And the mayor, if you must know. Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out, right? Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. I've always wondered, how does Materia let you cast spells exactly? <laughs> how did you ever get to be a soldier? Hmm? To put it simply, the knowledge of the ancients is sealed within each orb. That knowledge not only connects us to the planet, it allows us to tap into her power. That's how we can use magic. Or so they say. Really? Magic sure is weird. <laughs> I know someone who'd be livid to hear you call it weird. Or magic for that matter. I can just imagine what he'd say. It's an affront to science. Who? Hojo, from Research and Development. His predecessor was a great man, but him, he is anything but. We should press on. You wait out here, Tifa. No way! I want to go too, please. Sorry, no civilians. 
even if we weren't on a mission. Come on! Keep the young lady safe. Carry on. You better keep me safe. I keep asking myself, why couldn't I have come too sooner? If I had, maybe I could have saved the village. Or tried, at least. Dad. It was Sephiroth, wasn't it? He did this, didn't he? <laughs> Sephiroth. Soldiers. Mako. Shinra. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this! <laughs> That's the last thing I remember. The rest is a blank. The hell it is? What happened? It was all over the news. I remember watching it with my mom. They said he went missing during a training exercise. But then, the story changed. A couple days later, they started reporting that he was killed in action. Yeah, that was it. The news outlets are nothing but Shinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Only dumbasses believe that shit. Question. Does that make me a dumbass? Uh, I didn't say that. What I meant was... Screw Shinra for manipulating honest folks. It doesn't matter what they said back then. Sephiroth was in Midgar. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. Don't know about alive so much as... Around? But why come back now? 
After five years, doing who knows what? Because he wants to finish what he started. He wants to reclaim his birthright and rule over the planet with Genova at his side. After five years? Not to sound like a broken record, but it's really bothering me. Well, what's bothering me is all this Genova stuff. me. Guess the travel or something really did a number on my back. Feels as stiff as a board. Let me take a look. Mm. Ah! Wow. You weren't kidding, were you? Let's get you back to the room. Yeah. Let's just call it a night. No amount of guesswork will get us any closer to the truth. So how about we give our heads a rest? five years where's he been and you're asking me this just had a feeling you'd know probably did at one point all that stuff was taken from me though or maybe erased by whispers Maybe that's why. Why what? <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. You up? Sorry, did I wake you? Nope. What's going on? Oh, uh... It's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. Great, but not here. Follow me. Do you think Midgar's over there? Anyway... There's something I need to ask you, too. Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. 
Saw your wound, and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? <sighs> Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? this conversation with you, but here we are. Here, look. My scar, that proof enough? After you left, Zongan found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Wasn't just him though. There's the doctor who operated on me all night and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? In fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years. You know I can't tell you that. Of course you can't. Sorry, I just need some space. I thought we could just pick up where we left off, like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. Guess so. I was so happy to see you again. But maybe I shouldn't have been. Uh, morning. Morning. Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. I noticed. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Yeah place I made that promise to you. You remember the dress I wore? It was one of my favorites. Uh, the light blue one? With a bit of green in there? Yeah. Oh, you made it. All in one piece? Sorry we're late. For the love of it, where the hell have you two been? On a date. Kind of. What? Uh. Well, that was the last one. At least till things calm down. <clears throat> Got that? with worse that's easy for you to say you fought the worst for a living not us though yeah good boy you mind taking the lead Merc? for two thousand <laughs> enough for her standard course twice right her what now ask him cloud uh, uh, forget it you guys need to focus wasn't all that long ago that this place was... Oh. Hey. Perfect timing. I was just about to come find you. Yeah, I... You... Regret what I said in calm. Oh. Come in.
I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio from Nibelheim? The general store kid? Yeah. Anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model, and... <sighs> You're not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. It's okay. Forget it. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... <sighs> Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? With my iron stomach? us by. Hmm. Hell, I'm not saying we kill a man, but we ought to at least give him a talking to. Rough him up a little, maybe, you know? Actually, I'm gonna have to agree. First, the Turks say, do whatever, we're not after you. But then, Cloud's biker buddy rolls up and says he is. We gotta straighten this out. Okay, but how? We can't just walk up to the president in the street. Maybe we can. Huh? We bust up his parade! No. That's how we die in a hail of bullets like a bunch of dumbasses. The city's crawling with Shinra troopers. We join the parade. Hide in plain sight. Get in, get close, get answers. Seriously? Sure. Wow, that's good. No arguments here. Barrett, Brett, you guys find a route to the port. See what security's like. And keep an eye out for black robes while you're at it. Now hold up! Fatigues won't be enough to disguise you two. <laughs> True enough. Shut up. All right, see you in a bit. I gotta go find a uniform. Oh, we're coming with. I'm so pumped for this. This way? Yeah. Starting soon. Now we're talking. Oh, they're actually kind of cool. Well, ready to suit up? Yep. <laughs> Well? Well? You go. 
stop me. <laughs> Ever see that Faz guy again? No, but there are times when I think I do, and I freeze up till I realize it's someone else. I bet. I'm here if you want to talk. Well, actually, I was kind of hoping we could talk business. Uh, what kind of business? You know, business. Boys. Oh, that kind. <laughs> Adjourned for now. <laughs> so, how's it looking up top? You're pretty good at this game, huh? I guess. <laughs> good enough to beat me, though? I guess we'll find out. Wonderful surprise it is to see you again. Uh, rest assured, I'm not here for Aerith. Though, were she to offer her assistance, I'd gladly accept. Don't hold your breath. Oh, I won't. At any rate, a very special show is about to start. One starring you, perhaps. Couldn't find the bartender, so I, uh, helped myself. Costa del Sol. Used to make him back at the bar. And here I am, drinking one in its namesake. Feels like it's been ages since I mixed a drink. Since Seventh Heaven. Yeah. Lots well, happened since then. A lot. Good and bad. Ever wish you could just snap your fingers and forget the worst stuff? It's a part of who we are, whether we like it or not. Yeah. The deepest wounds never really heal. Hey, I can make one for you too, if you want. Nah, I'm good. Next time I ask for a cocktail, it'll be at the new Seventh Heaven. At least, that's what I promised Barrett. 
And when exactly did you promise him that? Sometime. All right, Mr. Secretive. You do you. Well, guess this ends our fun in the sun. Yeah, no fun ain't the word I'd use. So, back to the hotel? Johnny's famous sea smell in. When I got hurt back in Nibelheim, they brought me to this clinic. The doctor here, Sheeran, He's the one who saved my life. Oh. You're telling me Doc Sharon's the one who fixed you up? Come on. Do not be deceived. You know the truth. Trust in me. Sephiroth! The hell's gotten into you, man. What's going on? Barrett Wallace. Dr. Sheeran, it's... it's been a while. <laughs> Certainly has. <laughs> That's one frightening-looking appendage you got there. But hey, at least you still seem to have your health. Yeah, and you too. Oh, I'm feeling the miles, but the work keeps me trucking. I tell you what, though. Do you remember me? Well, of course I do, Tifa. It hasn't been that long. You heal up all right? I did, yeah. I just wanted to drop by and say thank you. If it wasn't for you, I doubt I'd be standing here today. Don't thank me. Thank Lady Luck and Shinra for that helicopter. I'm sorry, Shinra? I know you might find it hard to believe, but not all the apples in that bunch are rotten. But seriously, you're living proof of the good in people. Don't ever forget that. It'd be a pity to let their kindness go to waste. Yeah. Besides, you need to set a good example for your friends here. Oh, right. Well, I gotcha. Mind helping me out? Need to draw that gentleman's blood. You think you can hold him still for me? At first, I thought it was just Mako poisoning. It is until I ran some tests. The results were strange. Strange how? A substance turned up. One I've never seen before. Not sure what to make of it yet, but it did remind me of one I have seen. Your eyes. Soldier, right? X, soldier. It's not a job, son. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Huh. Spare a drop? No. Yeah. I ask, because I suspect they're soldiers suffering from cellular degradation. Just a theory for now. And one I can't prove, not without a lot more testing. You see many of these guys come through? Yeah, and then some. I do what I can for the injured ones. But leave the rest to stumble onto the saucer. Why would they go there? Shit. <laughs> Don't ask me. I think it's odd too. Yeah! Yay or nay? I, uh. <clears throat> Have your fun. <sighs> while you still have time.
Hey. Maybe you should lie down for a bit. No. I'm all right. Come on, man. I know this ain't to see. Why don't you and me go book us some rooms? Some food? Water? I'm fine. You were right. Just needed some sleep. <sighs> you alone? Yeah. Red's off doing his own thing, and Aerith and Yuffie are taking a spin on the Skywheel. They're only letting couples on tonight. So here I am. The odd woman out. They hit it off quick, huh? Must be nice to make friends that easily. What? Like, you can't? I don't know. I act like I can. I think I always have, ever since I was a kid. Anyway, you up for a little exploring? With me, I mean, no pressure. Of course I'm up for it. Classic Cloud. Check the schedule for more details about our upcoming shows. It's Jesse. Back when I was still finding my feet in Midgar, I ran into some trouble. But she took me under her wing, helped me out, saved me, really. Sounds like her. I admired her. She was so cool and confident. Like nothing could bring her down. Yeah, I know. I owe her so much. Thank you for everything. Well, shall we? Yeah. So, where to next? The races, maybe? Not again. Done for the day, I guess. She was always a star, but just imagine her up there. Yeah. Wish I could have seen it. into this. You can see how people end up in debt. Yeah. Let's make sure we don't. Welcome, cadets, to Space Ranger HQ. Our mission today is a vital one, and we will need your wholehearted support to defeat the enemy. Sir! Sir! Uh? <laughs> Sir! <laughs> Is that how you were, back when you enlisted? Not quite that great, I hope. Welcome to this, the Space Ranger HQ! Our mission today is a vital one, and we will need your wholehearted support to defeat the enemy! Oh, hey there, you two! Huh. Uh-huh. Hmm. Aaron? Just checking. Checking for what? If you were fighting or not. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm a teensy bit jealous. This place just isn't that fun when you're all by yourself. There must be someone out there who'd want to hang out with a cool person like me. Stop it. Hmm? This isn't the time to go making new friends, right? Yeah, you heard the man, Eric. Uh, all I'm saying is, anyone can put on a friendly face, including Shinra spies. They could be anywhere, waiting to pounce. <laughs> Thanks, but I'm not that naive. I know a shimmer creep when I see one. If you say so, just stay sharp, okay? Oh, I will. Sharp as attack. Promise. Now go. Enjoy your date. This place looks fun, huh? Now we're talking. That one's practically calling your name. Bet you'd kill on it. But it's for kids. <laughs> You're afraid of a little video game? Whatever. 
Let's see how it stacks up against the real thing. Welcome to Couples Hour at Skywheel Square. Cuddle up with a partner in our cozy gondolas and see our golden paradise in a whole new light. Escape the crowds, share a private moment together, and experience dazzling sights and sounds. The memories you make here are sure to last a lifetime. <laughs> Looks fun, huh? please we are currently experiencing some minor technical difficulties while our technicians are working hard to resolve this issue for your safety we ask that you follow all staff instructions over here folks our friendly cast members will show you the way thank you so much for understanding and have a wonderful day cloud we've got trouble is that a cat what is it get to the coliseum on the double because between you and me, there's been a wee shooting in the lobby over there. And the word around saucer is that a man with a gun for an arm was the perpetrator. I'll round up your pals for you, all right? Now get going. There's not a moment to lose. This has to be a mistake. Let's go find out. <laughs> Shit. Just Cloud. Welcome. Cloud, right? Got a work for hire? Got it in one, boss man. <laughs> Which one of you is it? Is it you? You? Maybe you? Or is it the pooch? <gasps> I'm just messing with you. That bear is our man. I don't think we've met. Of course we haven't met. You got brain damage? I'm not the type of player folks tend to forget. Just look at it. Now, you may not know me, but I know you. And why do you think that is, think? Mr. Mercenary? Mm -hmm. Ha! I'll tell you why. Because it's my business to know. And what kind of businessman would I be if I didn't have the scoop on the man who brought down Donnie C? Yeah. Let me just say, bravo. Well done. We're looking for someone. Hey there, hi there, ho there. No need to explain. Intel's my bread and butter. Really gotta tell you twice? Uptown secrets always trickle down. Which is why I'm ever so certain that you'll be useful. What do you want? So the son of a bitch with a gun for an arm? I got him under lock and key. Out in the middle of the dunes. Now I'm a generous guy, so I'd be happy to tell you where to find him. But only if I can get something from you first, understand? A little something being a shitload of money. I want stacks of it, heaps of it, mountains of it. I mean, did you hear what he did? Your buddy shot Shinra troopers in broad freaking daylight. So I ain't about to give him up for free. You think my prison runs on good deeds? No, sir. It runs on guilt. So much so goddamn guilt. Yeah. 
So yeah, Gil, that's what I want. And relax, I know you don't have it on you, but I got an idea on how you can scrape some together. <laughs> I'm entering you and one lucky chocobo in the races, and you are gonna win. <laughs> on that note, till you bring home the bacon, I'm gonna hold on to your pigs. Oh, hey, chill out, kiddo. We'll take excellent care of you. Unless you fail to deliver, in which case, well, let's just say there are plenty of other ways to raise the funds on the clock. Hmm. Put a price on anything. Ah, uh -uh. that's gus to you. Got that, jockey boy? As for all those pesky race details, talk to Garth here. I got you, boss man. Don't let me down, huh? See how they dry their mushrooms here? Bet they'd make for a mean stock. Doubt there's much it wouldn't improve. Soups, pilafs, maybe even a pot roast. What sort of thing would you go for? Gonna go with the pot roast. Ah, why does that not surprise me? I remember mom saying how Claudio's was the best she'd ever had. If you tell me what it was like, I could try and make it for you. Remember? Liar. All right, look. Those we hate, those we love, those we fear. Genova would become anyone to fool her prey. 
Don't do this! You'll make it, but not if you give up. You have to want it. Fight for it, hard as you can. You need to get up now, Tifa. You can't die here. Too many still depend on you. Tifa! Come back to us, Tifa. We've got a fight to finish. I'll go get the others. Cloud? You remember how our parents used to tell us that when a person died, their spirit would cross Mount Nebo? Yeah. We all knew it was a story to scare us out of climbing the mountain. You believed it, though. I didn't. 
At least, I had my suspicions. But I buried them. I wanted it to be true so badly. I didn't want to think my mom was just... gone. Plus, Emilio and the others said they'd help me find her, so up the mountain we went. Some help they were. Running off and leaving you out there? Not that I knew about any of that. You don't remember? <laughs> I hit my head pretty hard when I fell off that cliff. I think it messed with my memory. Everything from around that time's a blur. I only knew what the others told me. Didn't even occur to me to question them. What'd they tell you? They said that you egged me on. <laughs> but now I know that's not what happened at all. When the rest of them ran, you were there for me. You stayed when I needed you most. If that's not a hero, then I don't know what is. I'm no hero. What kind of hero falls off a cliff with the person he's trying to save and pushes him into a pool of Mako? Sometimes, I don't even know who I am. I forget things everyone else remembers just fine and know things I've got no right knowing. It's like there's different people inside of me. And the worst part is, I can't even tell where they end and I begin. Go on. Soldier cells degrade. I think that's what's happening to me. That I'm... Falling apart. That's not going to happen to you. You saved me before. Now it's my turn. Little old me? Aye, <laughs> that's right. Worried. Come on! Sorry! What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I, uh, where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long-forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But there was also conflict. A war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't... I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet, and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, Defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. <sighs> I, I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... <sighs> Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. 
What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. See you at the festival. If people everywhere resolve to not take her bounty for granted. Did I sound as awkward as I felt? No man, woman, or child felt for you. Never been that good with words, as you know. We're just two peas in a pod, aren't we? lost because it looks different so who do you think we built it shinra never mind all that we've got a terminal to find well shit a lot of robes out here yeah and look, locals. Only they aren't quite the same, are they? Hello there, can I help you? Greetings, good sir. I am a proud employee of Shinra Resorts. And since I was nearby, I thought I might pop in and check something on the company database. And your companions? Oh, them? They are... I used to live here until... you know. I see. And are you aware of what Nibelheim is now? No. No idea. Five years ago, Shinra assumed direct control over this village. It now serves as a treatment center for Mako poisoning. All property rights have been transferred. If that's why you're here, contact Special Facilities at Corporate. They'll be able to help you. Very helpful. Thank you, sir. Ah, but the database. I'll not be a wee minute. to see your hometown, but please, don't stay too long. You know... Hmm? I never understood it. Why'd my dad go into the reactor? Why chase Sephiroth? Thought about it ever since waking up in Corel. It just seemed like such a bad idea. I mean, what did he think he was gonna do? Fight a famous war hero and win? Well, he didn't. But after moving to Midgar, after making a life for myself, I finally realized where my dad was coming from. He was angry. And he'd had enough. Everything he'd worked so hard for had been destroyed in an instant. All that he'd built for himself, for us, gone. Sephiroth had burned it to the ground. That's why he went. 
even though he had to have known how it'd end. I see. And like him, I took my pain, my grief, everything I was feeling. I took it all and turned it into anger. Anger that led me to avalanche. <laughs> the problem is, anger doesn't last. So when avalanche started to become more violent, there wasn't enough left to hold back the fear and the doubt. It was taking a toll. Then you turned up. Like it was fate. <laughs> yeah, like it was fate. A lot's happened, but now that we're here, I know this was the right decision. Because now I know they rebuilt everything, tried to sweep what they did under the rug and pretend it never even happened. But I won't let them. I can't. Sephiroth and his cruelty. Shinra and their lies. I'm sick of all of it. God, did you? That's why you've been acting weird. Didn't want to upset you. That's all. Zack was my friend. How could I just forget him like that? Degradation. Following me out, bit by bit. You're wrong. You remembered, Cloud. It'll be okay. It will. deserves to know what happened. Yeah. Yeah, she does. But let me be the one to do it. Why? Because she and I are close, you know? Hey! Are you two done yet? Yep. Be right there. Let's just keep this between the two of us. Promise? Mako Spring. Wait, so this whole thing is materia? Wow, it's so much bigger. Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. Hey, we should get out of here. All this Mako is making me queasy. Yeah, me too.
Tifa. It's okay. I'm okay. Our guy. We need to check the inside. There might still be survivors. Yeah. <sighs> I don't see anyone. Enough of that. How about I fix you two your tricks? So, this guy moved here recently from Midgar, left after the Sector 7 tragedy. You know how it is. Anyway, he kept raving about this incredible cocktail served at a famous bar in the Undercity. Seventh Heaven. Don't know if you heard of the joint. They called it the Cosmo Canyon. Pretty, don't you think? Go on, drink up. Thanks. You know, that was just what I needed. Knew you'd like it. Although, apparently, my version pales in comparison to the Undercity original. So much so, the guy flat out refuses to order it again. Pinch of salt. That'll give it the kick it needs. Trust me. Salt, huh? Hey, that's pretty clever. Yeah, maybe I'll try that. Wait, don't tell me. You're the one who invented the Cosmo Canyon, aren't you? You're that Seventh Heaven bartender! Not today, but someday soon. When we do open up a new place, swing by. I'll make you a Cosmo Canyon myself. <laughs> okay, but I'm holding you to that. I'll be there opening night, with bells on. Promise. <laughs> Oh, there you are. Glad you could make it. Cloud, Tifa. Once a year, we take a retreat to enjoy the sun and sea breeze. Nothing like getting some games in the great outdoors. What do you say? Care to sweat with us? I think I would. I haven't done a proper workout in forever. Well, we'll happily help you both become your best selves. Train with us as long as you like. You mean it? Well, I might just take you up on that. Here's a question for you, Cloud. What would you say is the key to a good workout? <laughs> Fair enough. The heart is the strongest muscle. But I'm not too concerned about that. As you know, our passion for getting pumped up is second to none. Now let's get down to business, shall we? The reason I wanted you to stop by? Monsters have been spotted skulking around the facility, and I want them gone. Sure. Should be easy enough. Splendid. We can't train our bodies unless our minds are at ease. So you'll be doing all of us muscle heads a big favor. Let's get out there and kick some ass. Someone's excited. Well, yeah. Wanted an excuse to work up a sweat, and now I've got one. Wonder what little Tifa would say. <laughs> I think she'd be pretty proud. Really go wrong with steak, I guess. What? Huh? Oh, sorry. Just some mental meal prep. The ideal post-workout dish. <laughs> so, you were the one behind Seventh Heaven's menu? Half was a holdover from the old owner. The better half was mine. Huh. Oh, should I ate there more? Yeah. You snooze, you lose. Break yourself! Hey, Cloud, 
Would you say you're a picky eater? Soldiers can't be choosers. We ate what we were fed. Well, I used to be super picky, actually. Really? Used to be. Not anymore, though. Can't be choosers in the slums, either. What about crap? Mm, not a fan. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Question. What kind of meals do they feed soldiers? They put a lot of thought into making them healthy. Not much into making them tasty. Ugh. <laughs> that face says it all. You know, it's funny. What? Didn't realize it at the time, but... We ate pretty good when we were kids. Yeah. Homegrown fruits and vegetables. And great chefs eager to use them. Oh, hey there, Cloud. Tifa. Heard you two took care of our little monster problem. Can't thank you enough. Now we can get back to training being free. Excuse me. Sorry to butt in, but you wouldn't happen to be the one who beat these guys in a pull-up contest, would you? Uh... Watch it, rookie! Don't badmouth us! But that's how it went down, right? <laughs> You're Tifo, right? After I heard how you crushed it, I knew I had to join the gym. You're the reason I'm here! Oh, wow. And I'm not your only fan. Look, all of us signed up because we wanted to be just like you. It's just as she says. Thanks to you, our female membership has absolutely skyrocketed. Needless to say, we're very grateful. I didn't really do anything. Are you kidding me? You're literally my inspiration! Which is why I... Uh... I want to challenge you to a sit-up contest! Uh, right now? So you know, Amina's been training to achieve your look, Tifa. You'd be helping her measure her progress. Let me sweeten the deal. If your abs prove superior, I'll add a bonus to your reward. How's that sound? Just getting warmed up. <laughs> wow, you've got abs of adamantite. Thanks a lot. You put up a good fight, though. Like I said, you're an inspiration to me, to all of us. Nobody's born with a beautiful physique like yours. I can tell you poured gallons of blood, sweat, and tears into your training. Honestly, I... Sorry. Thank you. Glad I could help. Well, actually, I was hoping that, if it's not too much to ask, would you, Tifa, be my muscle mentor? Me? Really? I don't know. By all means, you have my blessing. If you don't mind dropping by from time to time, I'm sure she'd benefit from your advice. Might as well. If that's what you want. Then I'll back you up. Oh my gosh! Thanks, coach! <laughs> <sighs> hmm. Muscle mentor. Has a nice ring to it. Here you go, then. Your extermination fee. And is promised a little extra for helping her out. Come back whenever you want to punch some iron. You're always welcome. But hanging out here turns you into a frog. Hey, Finn, who are they? Not Shinra, I hope. Oh, no, we're definitely not. Oh, wait. You must be the ones Priscilla was talking about. She told me how you saved her. Right, that's us. We're friends. Are you a friend of hers, too? We're friends, but it's not like I like her or anything. It's just there aren't a lot of other kids in the village, so I basically had to be your friend. <laughs> of course. 
So what are you kids doing all the way down here? Uh, playing Jump Frog, obviously. Actually, we could use a couple more players. Since you're here, do you want to give it a try? Ah! Help us! <laughs> Come on, Cloud. Ribbit? Tifa! I tried to warn you! Like I said, hanging out here turns you into a frog! But don't worry, all you gotta do is start thinking like a frog, and you'll be fine! Ribbit! 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 What do you think? It's pretty fun, right? Eh. I've played worse. Anyway, thanks again for your help. You can come back again if you want. You look like you were having fun. Rip it. <laughs> I could get used to it. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Rip it, rip it. <clears throat> hey! Rip it. Rip it, rip it, rip it. <laughs> oh ho! Care to join us, young lady? We've got a lovely breeze blowing today. You certainly do. So, what are you all looking at? We're on the lookout for the Great Condor. We try to catch sight of it every time it takes flight. Make sure it's in good health and all that. It's not really a danger to people, but its hunger can drive it to hunt larger prey. Let's just hope it never develops a taste for us. Surely you've seen our newsletter, haven't you? It's filled with fun facts about our beloved bird. I'm quite proud of it. Sir, I don't think the condor is going to show today. Maybe we should head back. No, let's wait a little longer, lad. That bird's got me a bit worried. Haven't seen it in a fair while now. I wonder if we should have given it something to eat after all. Perhaps. I put a post up on the notice board asking for help, but... Uh... Well, if you're still looking for volunteers, we'd be more than happy to help. Well, far be it for me to turn down such an offer. Thank you. I appreciate it. One of the Condor's favorite hunting spots is in the woods nearby. You'll need a chocobo that can manage the climb to get there. It's pretty tough. Oh, you're back. Hope it wasn't too much trouble. You can put the food right over there. Thank you. This is quite the cut of meat. I have no doubt the bird will be unable to resist the call of such fine dining. I gotta say, it's kind of nice, looking up and seeing a blue sky. Beats a steel one, that's for sure. <laughs> Though at least with a steel sky you know your limits. Out here, it's endless. I kind of get what Aerith was saying now. Yeah, maybe. Hey, look! <sighs> what a sight! I never dreamed I'd be able to see it up close like this. Ah, uh, up. Oh, wait, we have to get a photograph. Grab the camera. Yes, sir. Come on. Gather around, everyone. Quickly, quickly. Say cheese. Oh. <laughs> what? So, snap any good shots? I hope so. It just showed up. I could barely hold my camera and... Really? Couldn't tell from a shot like this. Ah. <laughs> well, I haven't looked this happy since I was a lad. It's precious moments like these that make condor watching so exhilarating. You never know what to expect. Well, Scouts, let's finish writing up today's report and start preparing for our next fateful encounter. Sir! And hopefully next time we'll be able to snap a clear picture of that bird. Sir! Miss, I'd like you to have this as a souvenir. <laughs> nice face, Cloud.
first time in your house since I was here. Is it really mine, though? Wandered off to hello, dear. May I help you? <laughs> Just listening. You've got a great voice. Oh, you flatter me. I didn't even know I was doing it. You see, this cat I feed sometimes has gone missing. And when I worry, I cannot help but sing. Hey. Hmm? Sounds like a job for a merc, doesn't it? I sing whenever the mood strikes, really. Haven't you ever felt like bursting into song? No, I can't say I have. You've got an ear for music, though. I played piano a little when I was younger. My mom taught me. My, that's lovely. You ought to accompany me sometime. Sure. I bet it'd be a lot of fun. Come on. If you like, we can go look for your cat. Really? Oh, what a relief. <laughs> I'm Christine, by the way. Chef and chanteuse. You might want to start by looking around the foot of Mount Nebel. She's got the most beautiful snow white coat. Petite little thing, too. Speaking of, she must be starving out there. Here, be sure to feed her. where this came from, so dig in. Leave him alone. I'm a little worried Fluffy and the kittens might have been hurt. Do you mind if we head back to the village? You know, if we asked her nicely, I bet that head chef would take care of the kittens. I mean, can't say no to both of us, right? Guess we'll see. Huh. Guess even she can tell this place is nothing like it used to be. That's probably why she never came back here. What is it? <coughs> Fluffy? <coughs> Number tattoos on Why, look who it is! Oh, my little baby! I'm so glad you're okay. And just look at all these yummy muffins you brought back with you. She gave birth to her litter on the mountain. Oh, sweetling, you're going to be a great mommy. I hope this is all right. It wasn't exactly safe for a bunch of kittens. Couldn't just leave them, so... Don't be silly, dear. You did the right thing. I'll take excellent care of this family. They'll want for nothing. Long I've dreamed of opening my home To live to once, to play and rock and love La 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 If I'm going to take these cats in, they're going to need names. You've got such beautiful white fur. Blanca. Yes, that fits perfectly, don't you think? As for the kittens, we'll decide later. Actually, the cat's already got a name. What? You weren't hoping to hear me play, were you? I'm terribly sorry, Blanca, but I'm a bit worn out after all that excitement. Tifa can play. Cloud! What a wonderful idea! 
You'll humor us, dear, won't you? <sighs> okay. Just a bit. Hold that thought. This occasion calls for an accompaniment. I know some folks who would just love the chance to perform. Don't go anywhere. That escalated quickly. I wasn't expecting an audience. I haven't practiced since I was a kid. What should I do? Back out? Well, that's not an option. Then I think you better get warmed up. Glad that you could help. Take care of the cats for me. I certainly will. <laughs> Rest assured, I'll keep them very well fed. So bring your appetites. <coughs> All right, come along then. Playing that piano again brought back a lot of memories. How mom used to teach me while dad was downstairs in the kitchen doing his best, which was pretty good. Hangouts with Emilio and the gang, <laughs> which we kept inviting you to, but you never came. Never? Really? Really, but you seemed fine on your own. That what it looked like? That I enjoyed being alone? You didn't? Of course not. Huh. Guess we still don't know each other that well. Hmm. Well, never too late to make up for lost time. Yeah, that's true. I'm glad we came. Yeah. Glad we found Fluffy, too. I think you mean Blanca. But yeah, I hope she and the kittens are happy here. Doze off? No. Those pillow marks say different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got me. <laughs> anyway, want to broaden your artistic horizons? Loveless is playing here. And I got us tickets. Sure. After that, we could ride the Skywheel. Right. We missed out on that before. Yeah, but not this time. Let's go. Ready for this? A gondola's here! Well, after you. You first. Uh, Cloud? Think we can steer with this? Worth a try. <laughs> Here goes. Save. <laughs> hey, over there. See that? <sighs> Being a jockey looks so fun. That's definitely not what the races are like. I guess I'll just have to see for myself.
He remembers Zach. How they were friends five years ago. What? Not yet. Right. Touchy subject, huh? She must still have feelings for Zach. I think it's a little more complicated than that. Hey, it's kind of weird us being here like this, isn't it? Is it? I mean, I guess it is. Kinda. Ever since we left Midgar on this crazy journey, ever since we were kids, even, I can't remember a time like this. A time when we were this close. We should probably head back to our rooms. Yeah, probably.
cafeteria is our priority. We have to get to it first. Let's move. Cloud! They're with Aerith. They'll be fine. Okay, right back at gotcha. you. We're lucky you didn't crush us. Please tell me you're okay. I'm fine. Didn't know if it was Marco poisoning or the degradation, but I thought you were done for. Sorry to disappoint. Well, you can thank me for the ride later. Gotta find Aerith first. She told us that an ancient city lies just beyond these woods, and that the Cetra built a very special altar there. Hey, Cloud, promise me, if you start feeling sick or thinking weird thoughts, you'll let us know, okay? Thoughts like... For example, stuff like thinking I'm not the real me. Sorry. You don't have to apologize, but I do want you to talk. To me, or someone at least. All right. I can do that.
Why is he laughing? Because he knows this isn't over. Aerith, wake up.
Can't stay here forever. We'd best get moving. Yep. Sounds good. Tifa, come on. couldn't have dreamt that. It all felt way too real. Just as worlds unite, so too do they part. <laughs> but who's to say... They can't unite again. Is it just a wee bit higher? Screw you, cat. How's this? Oh, shit. Nice catch. So, what Aerith actually do anyway? for takeoff. <laughs> Finally. It's not fair. <laughs> Phew. 
Sheriff. Reunion. Hey, you coming or what? Yeah, one sec. You have to promise not to look up. Don't look up. Well, now I gotta look. Fine, but don't let it get to you. Don't let what get to me? It's not real. Just an illusion. Now let's go get Sephiroth. He's hiding up north. North? Trust me, he is. Soldier's intuition. Oh, yeah? Better hope you're right. <laughs> mm. All right, fine. We trust you. Just remember, we got everything riding on this. And that's a load you'd best be ready to carry. No heavy loads. As it is. Don't worry about me. I can handle it. Okay, getting back? And if I said I wasn't? <laughs> Don't worry. It's like a second home. I guess. But what if... What if something happens? <gasps> then I'll send up smoke. Thanks. I'll keep an eye out. I'll put everything I've got into my prayers. I'll stop the meteor. And I'll leave the rest to you. Good luck. Aerith. I will stop Sephiroth. Trust me. You promise? Promise. Yeah. 